Windows 11 has improved quite a bit since it was first released with new features and other enhancements that now make it a great operating system. So coming up to help you get the most out of using Windows 11, I'll show you various tips, tricks, and features you may want to use to improve your overall experience using it. Let's get started. For this first tip, we'll be starting things off in the Settings app. To open Settings, you could use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus I, or you could right-click the Start button in the taskbar and select Settings. A new feature everyone should have enabled is Quick Machine Recovery. To get to it, with System selected on the left, over here on the right, scroll down and select Recovery. Then in Recovery Options, select Quick Machine Recovery. When enabled, this feature automatically diagnoses and will attempt to fix failures when your computer boots up. In other words, when your PC fails to start, it will boot into the Windows Recovery environment, connect to the network, send the crash data to Microsoft, and receive a possible solution and will attempt to fix the issue preventing your computer from starting up. After enabling this feature, just below that, enable, continue searching if a solution isn't found. If a solution isn't found immediately, you can continue to have it look for solutions from 10 minutes up to 12 hours. 30 minutes is what's recommended and you can have it restart every 180 minutes up to 70 hours. Until the issue is fixed, I prefer to have it restart on the shortest time possible, which is 180 minutes. My second tip is to get Microsoft Power Toys from the Microsoft Store. This free collection of useful utilities enhances productivity and customization with various tools to choose from. Some of my favorites include Advanced Paste, Always on Top, Fancy Zones, Image Resizer, Mouse Without Borders, Power Rename, and their handy keyboard shortcut guide. A couple months ago, we uploaded a beginner's guide on YouTube that will help you when getting started going over the various tools. If you want to check it out, the link to it is in the description. If you're new to Windows 11, having upgraded from Windows 10, the first thing you'll notice is the Start button and the Taskbar icons are now center aligned. I personally like this better, but if you prefer the old way of having them aligned to the left, right-click an empty space in the taskbar and select Taskbar Settings. Scroll down and select Taskbar Behaviors. Click the drop-down for Taskbar Alignment and click on Left. In the taskbar, you'll notice that the Start menu and icons are now aligned to the left. Like I said earlier, I prefer the center alignment. If you're going to be spending a lot of time on your computer for work or play, you'll want a user experience that suits you the best. So for this tip, I recommend changing the look and feel of Windows. To do this, right-click on your desktop and select Personalize. The first thing I recommend doing here is going into Themes. As you can see, I have various themes installed. The one I'm using right now is called Light Trails Premium. Below the themes listed, to get themes for free from the Microsoft Store, click on Browse Themes. Let's go back and select Background. If you're using a theme, I recommend using Slideshow. And you can select how often that picture changes, anywhere from one minute to one day. I have it set to one hour with Shuffle turned on. Let's go back once more and select Colors. When you first install Windows 11, it's set to Light Mode. I find that dark is easier on the eyes, so I use that. This will change the various apps you use in Windows to a dark mode, for example when using the Settings app and File Explorer. Here's a quick tip for you. An annoying thing Microsoft did with Windows 11 is they screwed up the right-click context menu when you click on a file or folder. Now it only shows what Microsoft thinks are the most important items in the menu. To see everything else, you have to click again and select Show More Options. Now here's the tip. To see everything in the right-click context menu immediately without an extra click, hold down the Shift key on your keyboard, then right-click on the file or folder. I still see people in various places with multiple File Explorer windows opened on their computer, unaware that Microsoft has added tab support to File Explorer that is very similar to most browsers. To open a new tab, click on the plus here at the top. Or to open a new tab, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the control key plus T. 
Here's another handy keyboard shortcut that I use all the time. To close any windows that were open, I would always click on the close icon in the upper right corner. A quicker way to do this without using your mouse is to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the control key plus W key. If you're using a laptop, you're probably aware that there is a battery saver power mode that can help to conserve power to make the battery last longer. Microsoft's now stepped things up with an energy saver power mode that can be used on both laptops and desktops. To enable it in settings, select system in the left pane and click on power. Select energy saver and enable always use energy saver. Unless you're doing something that requires a lot of power, like playing a video game or editing a video, having this enabled can extend your battery life on a laptop and on desktops can help to reduce your electricity bill. The widgets panel located in the lower left of a centered taskbar can come in handy to get a quick glance at the weather, news, sports scores, stock prices, and a lot of other stuff. And you can get new widgets for it by clicking on the plus here at the top. Other widgets include a countdown clock, phone link, photos, Spotify, and a whole lot more. Microsoft's cloud-based file storage service, OneDrive, is quite annoying with its on this day memories notifications. So if this annoys you too, this tip is to turn that notification off. So in the taskbar, click the OneDrive icon, select the settings icon, then select settings. In the left pane, go to notifications and turn off notify me when on this day memories are available. I find the other notifications can be useful the on this day memories thing is fine on a phone, but is more of a distraction on a PC. If you want to quickly add emojis to anything you type on your computer, the Windows key plus the period key will open the emoji panel. Then just select the emoji that you want to use. These can be used in any program where you type in Windows, in the comments section on YouTube, and any other site where you can type. The Start menu in Windows 11, for me, is almost completely useless. I rarely use it. What I find to be more useful is the Secondary Start menu when you right-click on it. Shown briefly in an earlier segment when opening the Settings app, this right-click menu is often referred to as the Secret Start menu. I use it quite often to open the Power Options, Device Manager, Network Connections, and the Terminal. As I mentioned earlier, notifications on a phone are fine. Notifications on a computer, when working, are a huge annoying distraction, especially when writing or coding. To disable them in the Settings app in System, select Notifications. Here at the top, you could turn all notifications off. Since some notifications can be important, I don't recommend doing this. Instead, scroll down to Notifications from Apps and Other Senders and disable those individually for the apps you do not want to get notifications from. So, Microsoft Store, Power Toys, Copilot, Suggested, Firefox, Vivaldi, and so on and so forth. Unlike programs pinned to your taskbar that can also be unpinned, Widgets, which I showed you earlier, and Task View to the right of the search bar, which is used for creating multiple desktop environments, cannot be unpinned the same way. If you want to remove them to allow for more space on the taskbar, right-click on an empty space in the taskbar and select Taskbar Settings. Click on the toggles for each of these to off to hide them in the taskbar. And you'll notice in the taskbar they're immediately gone. You can also hide the search box as well. If you have multiple windows opened and you want to clear out the other clutter to just focus on one of the windows, you can shake things up to minimize all except the one you're currently shaking. So to do this, left click on the title bar of the window and shake your mouse. Shaking again will bring those other windows back. Unlike previous versions of Windows, this feature is not enabled by default. To enable it in Settings and System, scroll down to Multitasking and select it. Then click the toggle to on to enable title bar window shake. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you have a tip or trick for Windows 11 you'd like to share, let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our upcoming Windows 11 videos and other tech related stuff.